30 seconds. And I'm just going to take a drop. Maybe two drops for every sample. And then, so I got my two drops on, and then my cover slip is somewhere on here. It is. As clean as possible. Try to put that over. And now I got my sample here. Take this guy and put it under the microscope. Drop this guy to use. Looks like it's at the right power. So when you, and you have big clumps like particulates. So what this is, is a huge aggregate of like tons of bacteria stuck together and like a clump of something stuck together. And then all these particulates around here are just, it's, it's like nice clean stuff. So. Can I borrow your pants and some stuff down? Yeah. Oh, hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> So Can this big thing, yeah, that's like plant material to give you a scale to like look at the size. Um, and then, um, so at this level of like 100 times, basically you would want to scroll through your sample and look for a nematode. Okay, what's that look like? Uh, let's see if I can find it right hmm. So I'm going to go to one end of your slide. This thing is so, okay, well, I'm gonna go as far as I can. So this um, edge of the slide. Yes. Yeah. So I'm uh, I find one edge of your slide, and then I'm just gonna scroll along, this inspect your slide. Right. <laughs> So Drake, you, ch you just changed the magnification from what to what? Uh, now it's it's up at like 400 times. Let's see how I'm trying to increase this for you. Whoa. Are you filming just for fun for yourself? Mm. Or for... I don't know. Mm. I always film first and ask later. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it turns into something. 
Oh yeah, let's see. I'm lighting it up for you. So the colors are kind of weird now, but it's lighter. Um, so, so this chunk right here, this um, tube thing. Tube thing, yeah. The tube thing quite possibly is a fungus, although it looks a little bit more like plant tissue. So what? I, so now I did the, the nematode analysis at 100 times. I went through your entire slide as best as I could. I looked for a nematode, I found none. So my second analysis now is what I'm gonna do is do a fungal analysis and also like a fungal and then a bacterial um, description. Okay. But so what I want to do now is I'm looking for pieces of fungus, which fungus are tubes, but this one may or may not be, it looks okay. more like plant matter to me because a fungus should be really uniform. It should okay. look like a piece of PVC where the PVC doesn't taper at all, whereas this one looks like it's yeah. tapering a little bit through there and it doesn't. And it, sometimes the tapering could be because of your zoom, but as I zoom through this, as I focus through, it, it, it doesn't look, it looks more like plant material to me. Yeah. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is just um, flip to basically a random spot in your slide. I'm just going to scroll to a random spot. Like I just hit both buttons twice to go to a random spot. And now I'm going to do a little analysis to look into this piece and count the pieces of fungus that I see. And when I'm looking through here, I'm not seeing any fungus. So, all this stuff moving around yeah. is not moving around. What's happening is the water between this moving. If something was to be moving, it wouldn't just be vibrating back and forth. If something was moving, it would be cruising through on a defined path. Okay. So even though this looks like it's moving, nothing is moving. It's all, so far I haven't found any like living lights in here yet. Okay. Oh. Um, if I look through here at this slide right now, I'm not seeing a single piece of fungus. Like, I can't see it over here, but I can, I mean, I can see it here, so like, I'll zoom out on that piece right here, put it in the center. So you see that piece? Oh, that? That piece right there? Oh, yeah. I would say that is one piece of fungus. Okay. So this, it's a small chunk, it's dark in color, and you see how it's uniform too? Like, you, if you want to look through there, just you can see, um, that's the piece of fungus I can see from looking at it. Oh, I see. You see this thing here, this is a leg of some sort of animal. Huh. And that, oh no, that, that might have been active, I don't think so though. I haven't seen anything active so far. Um, but yeah, so, so, so this might be a fungus active. chunk that I'm looking for. You're not gonna find active fungus in this. You'd have to time lapse it and plus the conditions are set up so it dies. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, so, so again, now I'm gonna go to a random spot on the slide again and then look through and do my analysis. And when I'm looking through here, like if you look through here, you see the tan color? Um, I just look the back of it. Look at the material, yeah. it's kind of tan. Yeah. Tan is an indicator of, um, it's not humic acid, it's, um, it's another decent soil thing. So I'm looking at the soil that's decent, but I just don't see very much biology in here. So you're, when I'm looking through and I'm analyzing like the pieces, because of the, the tan color of it, it's it's um it's rich. It's just I don't see like on this on this screen here, this 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 view okay. here that I've gotten, this view that I'm looking at, I don't see a single piece of fungus. So I would say okay. So so far in, in one view I've seen one fungus. This next view I've seen zero fungus. I'm gonna scroll to another random view. And That's then, interesting because it's like so this one is. Um, is there like potted soil. So it should be healthy soil because it's made up of basically all this compost, right? Yeah, no, but it's, then it's nutrient not, rich. It's just there's no microbes to break down. Biology, yeah. Okay, that's And this sense. this here, this little small chunk again, maybe a fungus. So in my second view of something, I found maybe a small chunk of fungus. Yeah. So that's that's a good indicator so far. I mean, but 
Um, go to another random spot. This is like, this makes sense with my results though, so that's good. Yeah, and not, I mean, these, these may, some of these may be fungal chunks. I don't know. You can look through there and see. Does it look completely uniform 2V to you? Um, it looks exactly look uniform. It looks more like a particle of something. Yeah, yeah. But so, I don't know if you would have, like at the scale of what you would... Yeah, so I'm having a hard time determining between material and biology at this point. Those don't look you. Actually, I guess there's a small one that looks. The, t the tinier chunks, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. One. So, how much fun is Okay, cool. Sweet. Um, another sample? Yeah, how many are you able to do with samples? Uh, sterilized potting soil. <laughs> spread out over the majority of the slide there. They're just kind of smushing it. I'll throw this guy up here again. So now... Okay, which one is this again? This one is commercial And what results are you expecting? Um, the commercial inoculant didn't really do well at all. It was really comparable to the potting soil. Um, so I feel like it would look very similar to the potting soil. I don't think we'll find much fungus because the leaves of the plant were diseased and didn't grow tall, it didn't flower. So I would expect not much fungus at all, I guess. What were you, what were you growing in this soil experiment? Marigolds. Marigolds. Yeah. This one definitely has more organic matter. So do you think, okay, so the tan pieces, is that like the soil, or is that the rich soil? Um, the rich soil. Maybe there's more organic matter here, so maybe more kind of plants. 
from the humic acids we use and then the plant is there. It got to be the Now I'm looking through here and I don't see any fungus again now. Resolution is not nearly as good here, but that's a nice piece of fungus. You see how it's really uniform tube length? So that's like, so this is the first like longest fungus I've found. So it's one so far. Like this is like definitely one. Okay, cool. So that, when you're seeing it there, it, it's, yeah. Bacterial analysis because the bacteria is so small, so potentially all these tiny little pieces, whether they're whether they're bacteria glued to each other or they're plant material or they're like nutrients clumps, is like I pretty much leave that indeterminate. Um, so it, they may have converted to the bacteria may have blown fast, but not had benefit to your plant. They just changed those elements and then made them biologically available, but then there was nothing to then free it out of the biology back into the plant. So, so in your control, the nutrient just sat there. In this one, it looks like more of the biology converted it, but then it wasn't available for the plant. So did they not convert it to a plant available form? Is that what happened? Like, this yeah. is so cool. This is great. <laughs> yeah, so. Like, doesn't survive well in tropical weather, so it had an opportunity, like, it maybe lived for some period of time and broke stuff down, but then, like, died off because the conditions were, like, super hot and really wet and it's really sunny outside, and, like, all these factors killed it eventually. Yeah, it's still a possibility. Okay. Um, so this, yeah, I have another one. This is the IMO. The IMO? Mm-hmm. Did you just have fungus? So you're thinking there's going to be a lot of fungus? Yeah. Oh, the plants were so beautiful, like, compared to the uh, other two. Yeah, it'd be neat to see all the plants. Are they... Where are the plants? So I just... So the experiment finished today, and so I took them all out of their pots and did, like, a qualitative analysis on the roots. Oh. And then I broke apart the roots and took the soil out, and I did the green weight of each plant. So I had to cut them from the roots and uh, kind of plant those Oh, yeah, ones. yeah. But... Um, yeah, the, all the IMO ones all had flowers on them, and they were like Ooh. so fragrant and beautiful and super dark green leaves and like a thick stem, and then the other ones have these like light green leaves with purpling down the vein, and on the little veins, do you want to look that up for like what nutrient deficiency that is? Hmm. But yeah. When did you start the experiment? Probably have that in here actually. So not, not all of them flowered? No. Um, one of the commercial inoculant ones flowered out of six. Zero of the potting, sterilized potting soil and six out of six of the IMO ones flowered. Uh, okay. um, yeah, I think I started the experiment somewhere around the beginning of... What is it? October, yeah, maybe in of October, so for like a month. Okay. And then I'm doing radishes right now, and those I can harvest in like two weeks, probably. Cool. So 
is that bad? Nah, not necessarily, because you're doing it in plots too, yeah? So yeah. it's, uh, the nematodes are more often in the soils okay. and like cruising. So it's not, um, it's not good, it's not bad. You're not finding any nematodes? Yeah, nematodes. It's just, I would say it's more the conditions of your yeah. setup than... Just a But a good balance of nematodes is normally one per slide. It's the I know. I think I was on a water bubble. Uh, Looks like the surface of the sun. Um, I don't know what it is. There's an amoeba on there. Do you see the amoeba? I, I think so. It's this guy right here. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. So that's an amoeba. Look at that cellular wall. Um, <laughs> and then there was something just messing with him. There was a little active bacteria kind of just messing with him. But... So... Yeah, amoeba. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Biologist. I want to make sure. Yeah. yeah. Before, it. before I got one of these, we used to just uh, our amoeba. Yeah. Keep chilling. Um. We used to just put the iPhone to the. Can you do that? Um, yeah, yeah. You can put the you can put the iPhone to the lens piece and like see through without this camera. Hmm. Um. It's so not much fun getting this one there. Uh, not so far. Um, let me go down to this part and just check out this area. Um, all of these guys are going to come and eat them and then make a poo. And the poo is plant available fertilizer. Oh, by eating the bacteria? Yeah. So this guy is processing bacteria into plant available food. So I, so I put through the sample. I already found two amoeba. So your amoeba count in this one is much higher than your other two. And so you got. Um, so your your nutrients are cycling in this one much more than the others. Okay. I, I, I would assume just from that. Um, I didn't see very much other fungus. Like I don't even think like that. So yeah. I just, I just, I just, I just, like one. Um, maybe this. But it's more plant material to me than. Sterilized potting soil is pretty sterile, mm. um, and it looks like rich soil. No, because it's like potting soil is just it's like compost, but there are no microbes really to break it down. Mm. Uh, fungus. Is microbes the larger term for things like fungus and bacteria and amoebas? Yeah, everything we're looking at under the microscope is microbes. Okay. Um, and then the commercial inoculant one also didn't really have many microbes in it, but the soil was less rich, so it looked like it was broken down. But maybe not to a plant available form, so it can't seem to grow that well. And like the microbes that are in it possibly died out, so not like a bit more tropical environment. The IMO one had a more rich soil and had a few amoebas in it. It didn't have, it had more fungus, but not a ton of fungus. So this is another IMO sample, but this is IMO biochar. But they, they grew pretty similar heights. Like on my batch experiment, biochar is kind of like a huge hole, but on the marigold one, it's a huge hole. So I'm not positive why. 
and everything else was pretty controlled for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great background music. What if the microbes started moving to the music? <laughs> oh, I found my phone number for you. Hey! This is Yay! And you can come on John's there too, but it's quite a shooting star. That's what's active. When you see an active guy, that guy's active. Is that an active fungus? No, it's, that was like a. Uh, if I zoom in on him, he's probably... Oh, look, it's going up now. Yeah, yeah he's... Well, I'm looking at him here. Maybe, but oh, see. You see he's cruising, he's like under that chunk now. Yeah. 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 Chunk, nice he's cruising down. Oh. So that's what it looks like when you find active biology in here. That's a... Uh, I'd have to zoom in on him. What do you think it is? Uh, it's probably a full agilate. By the way he's moving, he looks like he's propelling himself. What's it called? Full agilate. But I'm, I'm looking at him at this, I can zoom in on him more and see him a little better. Just tell him right to chill out. Yeah. Oh, now you can see me. Yeah, we have three seats for this Isn't it close? So this is another amoeba hanging out there. I lost the little guys. It's hard to find when you like, you know, like, like those slide on fire to slow down. <laughs> um, but that's a flagellate chilling there. And then something like this, this round thing you're seeing there. Yeah. That may be like a spore. Like a... a um, like a... A spore from what? Uh, from a fungus? Yeah, something. Something that put like a... But, um, this is an interesting music. Wait, is that another living guy? Yeah, you see there's another dude zooming around there? Right in the center? I don't see that one. Uh, he's right by that round chunk of crap. Uh, where did he go? Um, yeah, I lost them again, but, um, oh, are you going to switch that on? Oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, you just skipped it and skipped it. <laughs> we'll just start over with this one right. at the top again. Okay, nice piece of fungus here. Um, so just, yeah, this sample looks a heck of a lot better to me. It's way more active. We already had um, huge ass pieces of life and then active little bits of biology that I saw, like um, bacteria cruising around. What's this big circle? Uh, the big circle, see there's another active biology, just, uh, but he's cruising. I just saw him cruise through here. Like that is, that is even something that's alive. You see it jumping around. Um. So, so this one is much more active. You're, um, much better sample. Okay. This round thing uh, could be a spore, could be a. Um, for that size though, uh, I don't know. But yeah, there is active dudes, I can totally see them running through. And it's not just all, like the crap's flowing that way, but there's also a dude moving, you know? Um, so. Cool. So yeah, if you want to just uh, look around in there, you can move the side of these buttons. Yeah. Okay, this is the fifth. No, the fourth one. This is the fifth one. Oh, there is the fifth one. And which one is this? Uh, commercial inoculant with biochar. And the one before this was the IMO with biochar? Yeah. And I like the way it distributed. Yeah. <laughs>
didn't have a big ass chunk in there this time. <laughs> Back into view, drop again. You see a stop because I found motion like that. That's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for nematodes. This here, however, it looks like an insect larva. Whoa. Can you see it? Yeah, do you see that? Sorry, hang on. Let's see if it looks better for you. Um, and then let me get it so you can get the same. Okay. Yeah. So he's a clear insect larvae looking guy. I see him. Yeah. <laughs> So it might be hard to see on here because he's oh, clear. Oh, he's flipping out right now. Yeah, but that's like a um, insect larvae versus a thing. But but that's what I was looking for when I was looking for nematodes. So I'm looking for that splash of crap moving, okay. and, and it's super easy to detect when I'm going fast. So it's the movement that you're looking for, not like a shape. Yeah, okay. it's entirely that. Like yeah, like you see stuff going, and you're like, oh. So that's why I zoomed in on this guy. But that was an insect larva. It wasn't a wasn't a nematode, but. Um, because yeah, I'm going too fast to really detect anything else. Oh. But once you detect movement, oh, that's a big thing. Yeah. There's more movement here. Okay, this is a big ass flagellate. Because oh, we're probably looking at it at a larger scale. This is a hundred times you're seeing it. Oh, wow. So you see this flagellate cruising around? Yeah. Can you see his tail? No. Okay, he has a flagellum. I would give it to you. He's cruising across pretty fast. Keep him on. So he's he's pointed. He's right. Kind of stopped right in there right now. You can look. He's right in the center. He's gonna point to. And it. you can see it. Yeah. He's right here. And you see a sharp ass tail. Yeah. That tail. That one thing coming off him is a flagellum. Flagellum. I heard that way before. Yeah, and it's like a. You know, it's a prerequisite to arms and stuff. But that's mm. that flagellum is what's propelling him through. So you found. And flagellums are good to see. So you found okay. a good flagellum in here. Um, flagellum. Oh, it looks like a face. Where? Yeah. Uh, I'm ready to go. Oh, no, it's right here. It's like the nose and the eyes. Yeah, I see that. It's like Christian Bale or something. Yeah, so this flagellum here. He's big too. Wow, he's bad. Okay, so I'm gonna continue going through the scroll, just leave that flagellum on. Hey, leave that flagellum alone, man. <laughs> I'm not I swear I'm getting shot in the side of my cheek. Okay, 
extent that I can see this slide. So, so cool. So we've already seen like uh, flagellum in there. Um, so I'll zoom in more now. And then go to a random spot. It's best if you don't look through while you're picking your random spot, because then you're biased. Okay. So I went to my random spot and I'm seeing this here. Looks like a fungus to me through through there. I think you can see. Oh, I see. That's what's flipped on here. It's a mirror image. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, this this is even kind of at an angle. Okay, I see that though. That looks like a fungus. Yeah, so that, I see that as a fungus is one for sure. Oh, uh, that, this piece right here is mm -hmm. also a fungus. Okay. This one is a darker color, better fungus. This one, but this one's also a fungus, so. The same nature, and then. So you got two nice ones in that first there. And the rest of the stuff just looks like crap. <laughs> Let's go to another random spot. Big and read. Yeah, I'm cherry picking my spots for my samples out. <laughs> I don't see any fungus in this sample here. Come on, not with a bunch of crap in my Come on! Why? <laughs> Again, this kind of stuff. It, unfortunately, I don't think I um, distributed it very well. There's so much crap in the blocking, you know, like these big pieces of yeah. crap blocking us, that um, it could be diluted more to, to avoid problems like that, or my distribution on the slide could be better. But So looking at this guy right there, I got a piece of fungus. Yeah, and then this big ass thing might be, or it might be uh, a plant root. It just got ch chunked that way, but this is a fungus for sure. Um, I, when I, was, I measured plant height every three days. And then I measured the green weight of the plant. So that was like the data that I have like, and yeah. You correlate this against the soil sample. Yeah. the qualitative from the soil sample. Because I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, it's somewhat quantitative, but not, I'm not yeah. exhaustively quantitative. <laughs> yeah, so this I'm using as qualitative. And like the, looking at the leaves um, for like chlorophyll content will be qualitative because some of the leaves are like dark green, like really good looking leaves all the way up. And then the main problem I saw on my other plants was the older leaves at the bottom had like, it started off as purple spots, which I thought was like a phosphorus deficiency. But then it basically ends up as like purple down the main midrib and down the veins, but not in between them at all. But I took like a class on nutrient deficiencies and I had kind of memorized at one point. I never talked to my professor about it. I took pictures of the leaves to see like what the nutrient was that was missing. So it's a mixture of all the things and then I'm gonna analyze all the data, which I'm actually so excited for. Like if there's something so fun, you know, to like it's like a puzzle, a soil puzzle. <laughs> so yeah, it's my plan. It's a mixture of quantitative and qualitative.
and then the radishes will just be another experiment to see how it works. But those ones are really affected by the biochar already. Like the size difference of the leaves, and then I'll measure the bolts when it's done. Cool. Uh, you want to look at this one on Mars? What'd you say? You want to look at this one so this is a bacterial aggregate, but then you'll get fungal aggregates, and that and means you have to alive. But um, yeah, and then, and then when you go to your soil, it should be like balls, like all balled up under, like when you look under plants, the soil is nice and yeah. Down, like kind of clump. And yeah. fungus are those larger clumping these clumps to me, like. Super cool. Super cool. Cool. Well, I'm going to put the second wheelbarrow. You know, what, like, what this experiment is and why you're, you're doing it. Um, so the experiment is to prove the effectiveness of indigenous microorganisms and how cool it is that you can just like grow your own microbes and like make for yourself all these things to put in your soil. Um, I really love soil. <laughs> I, th I think it's so interesting and um, I, don't, I don't know, like I just, I, I found out about Korean natural farming when I came to the island and it really intrigued me about how you make all the inputs yourself and it makes you appreciate it so much more and understand where everything's coming from. And then it's like you're putting it into the ground and you're growing your food and you know where your food comes from. And it's like this incredible way of farming that I've never heard about before and I don't think it's widespread on the mainland really at all. Um, so I just wanted to do an experiment to like prove to myself how well it works. Because I see like all this data from other people, pictures of like, oh here's the corn from, you know, like commercial farming, oh my gosh, wow, here's the IMO corn, and I'm like, whoa. And so I want to do it and like get that. What's reaction. actually happening? Yeah, it happened and it was oh, I was so stoked on it. It was so exciting. Just like yeah. So what did you what did you find out by coming in here today and looking under the microscope at the soil? Um it helped um it reinforced like, some of the conclusions I was making in my head because I haven't like sat down to analyze my data, but I've just been thinking about it based on the results that I've seen, like what's going on. Like I can't really see what's going on in here, but then like seeing under a microscope what's going on, I need like theories about what I thought would be happening, and a lot of them are proved correct, which is cool um, because that was reinforcing my way of thinking about it. Um, yeah, I was just like expecting to see more life in the soils with biochar, especially more life in the one with IMOs, and that's what we saw. So it makes sense. So now it's just reinforced on another level. Yeah. Soil science. <laughs>